Hey guys, Attic Cyclist here with a update video to some upgrades I made to my indoor training area. So uh, before we dig in here, I just ask you to please subscribe if you find this content useful. I ask you to please go back into the video library to find some additional videos about my few ro road bikes, my mountain bikes, some gear, shoes, tires, um, experiences, feedback. So I, hopefully you can find this material and content useful and I uh, would appreciate the, uh, the support. So about to dig in here. So I've been using Zwift for about six years now, uh, using an older PC with, I don't know, six megabytes uh, of RAM. And um, I'm sorry, six gigabytes of RAM. And basically, you know, it was an outdated computer. The video card was a little, little shoddy, um, but it got the job done. So I started having some issues with Zwift. Uh, some connectivity issues, delays. I noticed that when I'm when I'm when I'm racing in Zwift, um, basically, you know, it takes a while for my avatar to uh, generate uh, a sprint, and um, you know, I just felt that it was time to upgrade the system. I had some cutouts. I also had some delays where you know the system would freeze, and um, you know, I would lose a wheel for five seconds, and in, in, in a race, five seconds, you're, you're done. You're you're dropped. So. What I wanted to do was really for the first time ever, I've never really kind of spent big monies uh, on anything, uh, you know, computer related as I'm not a gamer, um, didn't really feel like I needed a gaming computer, but wanted to uh, to really kind of stay ahead of the, of the curve here and kind of bring the uh, experience of Zwift, uh, just kind of just make the experience overall better. So basically my old computer, okay, again, was six uh, gigs of, of uh, RAM. Uh, it just had a standard video uh, GPU and uh, nothing really too fancy. You know, it was probably the computer dated back to, I think, probably 2013, maybe. Um, you know, and Zwift has also come a long way. So I did find uh, this um, this Acer Nitro 5 uh, on Amazon um, and uh, just kind of wanted to share some of the uh, feedback uh, for my, so my third or fourth ride now. Uh, using this uh, upgraded uh, gaming gaming laptop, so the Swift basically asks for a minimum of uh, Windows 7 64-bit um, and an Intel Core i3 or an AMD Athlon and a standard uh, minimum you know RAM of, of eight gigabytes and the uh, GPU an AMD R5 or an Intel HD 4000. So you know my other computer didn't even have Bluetooth. Uh, 4.0 or any any Bluetooth whatsoever. So I've always been connected with a um, with a uh, an AND stick and direct connection to the computer, which I like. I don't really like too much interference. I figured you know d direct connection is probably the way I, I want to go. Um, and so before I purchased this Nitro, I you know explored other options, cost-effective options. In this case, it would be Apple uh, 4K. And what I didn't like about the Apple is that you know you basically have two channels. Um, as you can see, I have a climb, I have, well, I believe it's part of the kicker, but I have the kicker, I have my own power meter, a stages power meter, uh, my heart rate monitor, and I just didn't feel like, you know, using the Bluetooth connectivity of the companion app to sync, because I've had some cutouts on the companion app during a race, uh, so I didn't want to rely on that to basically, you know, add additional sensors, so again, I wanted to go direct connection here uh, with a USB, this is USB 3.0. I upgraded the cable as well. So basically, um, this laptop, you know, has a killer Ethernet, you know, uh, Wi-Fi 6. Um, it has a uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 uh, with uh, four gigabytes of dedicated GD, GDD R6 RAM. And uh, I feel like, you know, this is basically where I think we need to be to have a overall better experience, uh, indoor training, right? So we don't always love indoor training. Some of us absolutely love it. Um, and some of us just do it just to get the job done. So what I've noticed from my initial rides um, in Zwift immediately was how smooth the trainer transitions to elevation. The kicker climb also is not as notchy. It seems to be smoother in operation, obviously, as the gradient comes in. And there's no delay uh, in elevation um, with the climb. So normally I'd be basically, you know, on the way down from a climb and then and the, and the climb is, you know, literally raising. So there was a delay uh, in feedback, uh, you know, in game from when the climb would operate relative to the, you know, elevation in, in game. So everything just seems to be operating very, very smooth. Um, the display 
the graphics, you know, I'm seeing shadows, I'm seeing lights, I'm seeing depth that I've just never really seen before. And again, it wasn't a game changer. It wasn't in it for the gaming experience. But, you know, if you're going to be doing indoor training, I just why not make the, you know, experience the best that it can be. So I'm not telling you to go out and buy a, you know, $850 laptop. Don't need that at all to, to run Zwift. I mean, you can get away with Apple 4K TV for less than 150 bucks, uh, an iPad. Um, but if you're looking to enhance the experience of indoor training, you know, that's that's basically what I'm going to recommend here is just go for a, a high powered, you know, um, computer um, or a gaming computer, which should basically, you know, satisfy any Zwift you know, upgrades or requirements for potentially years to come. Um, so I think Zwift recommends a bare minimum GPU of, I think, uh, uh, GTX 970. So this is RTX 3050. So again, you know, I'm in the game for a while here. Uh, in terms of the the video requirements, so and uh, yeah, this is basically the overall setup. You know, we've got some floor fans here. You know, if you saw one of my previous videos about Zwift racing and riding indoors, you know, basically thermal efficiency is the most important thing, keeping the air circulating uh, and keeping your core temps down. You know, because again, there's not a lot of air coming into the area. You're kind of breathing in your own your own exhaust and uh, just trying to keep the air air circulating here. So we also have a dehumidifier in the basement. Um, to help with humidity, obviously, in the summer. And again, just trying to kind of, you know, build myself the optimal training experience, you know, while I'm here in New Jersey in the shitty New Jersey weather right now, it's freezing outside. And this has basically been the, uh, the blessing here uh, to kind of get me through, you know, between mountain biking when the trails, you know, the trail conditions are, are more ideal. So um, yeah, if you want, you know, I'll, I'll put a link to the, uh, the iPad, um, to the, to the Acer Nitro 5 that I purchased from Amazon in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd really appreciate you know, subscribing, showing some support. It uh, helps me uh, kind of grow the channel here and get some additional exposure. It keeps me motivated, keeps me excited to, to, uh, to keep uh, doing content reviews and uh, overall just uh, having fun with this. So um, yeah, I urge you to go back through the video library and take a look at uh, some of the videos that I got. So I appreciate the views, appreciate the likes, Appreciate the uh, subscriptions and uh, be well. Thank you.